now to embattled Miami City Commissioner Joe Carroyo put on notice. U.S. Marshals officially starting the process to seize his assets as part of a multi-million dollar judgment. Local 10's Cody Weddle live now in Miami with the details for us. Cody. Calvin and Eden, Commissioner Joe Carroyo, defiant as usual. He did not shy away from news cameras outside of his home today. And as you can see behind me here, those notices now have been removed from his door. His attorney taking them down. A U.S. Marshal at Commissioner Joe Carollo's Coconut Grove home posting several notices on the front door. A writ of execution and notice of levy letting the commissioner know the process of seizing his home has begun. The document specifically mentioned the plaintiffs who won their federal lawsuit against Carollo, Miami businessmen Bill Fuller and Martin Pinilla. Carollo's attorney showing up to review the documents lashing out at the two men. You got a call from the plaintiffs to say the marshals are over there. I get it. We all get this whole thing. Carollo himself then coming out of his home, joining in. They called all of you today to have this charade, the circus, have gone all over town for months and months bragging how they're going to destroy me. Last summer, a federal jury found Carollo liable for over $63 million in damages for violating Pinilla and Fuller's First Amendment rights by utilizing city resources to punish them for supporting his political rival. I'm not getting due process. Carollo calling it all a political witch hunt against him. He and his attorneys continuing to argue that his home is protected by law from seizure since he and his wife live there. This is marital property. Attorneys for the plaintiff saying in a statement that, quote, Carollo's misconduct should serve as a clear reminder to other public officials that their political authority is derived from the public trust, not a tool to advance corrupt personal ambitions. We also spoke to legal analyst David Weinstein today. He told us not to expect this process to move quickly. In other words, uh, we don't expect that Carollo's home will be seized in the near future. Carollo's attorney today also emphasizing they plan to appeal that ruling against him, saying they are waiting for the judge to allow that appeal to move forward. We're live in Miami. I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News. Cody.